What's up guys, Dr. Ricky back with another video today. This is an interesting one. We're gonna talk about teens and plastic surgery. Very commonly, people will ask the question, do you have to be a certain age to have plastic surgery? The youngest patient that I've operated on has been a kid as young as five years old. And clearly there are anatomical reasons why I may say that someone should or shouldn't have surgery at a certain age. I'm looking more at, are they healthy enough to have surgery or are they not before I'm addressing all of those other issues that might come up. And the bottom line is, it's not about the money for me. If it's not the right procedure for the right person at the right time, I'm simply not doing it. California teen Elise Chaddock was starting her sophomore year of high school and wasn't looking forward to it. She said she'd been bothered by bullies because of her nose. A lot of people call me shark, toucan, big nose. So that clip brings up a great topic and that is bullying. There's no question that plastic surgery can play a role for certain kids who are being bullied for some certain physical attribute that they have. So let's take a look at this young lady's journey and let's talk about it. The family decided to contact plastic surgeon Michael Nicoli of the Magic Mirror Foundation. Dr. Nicoli began by giving Elise a chin implant. Then he worked on her nose. He straightened the bridge and made the tip of the nose more delicate. Here's Elise's before and here she is after the surgery. The teen loved the results and began the school year on a positive note. Now they said teen, I don't know how old she is, but one of the things that we are looking at when it comes to rhinoplasty surgery is we want full bone and cartilage maturity before we do anything. In her case, yeah, this could be kind of controversial where people are talking about should she be getting a rhinoplasty? Should she be getting a chin implant? Now this topic is near and dear to me because I was 24 when I had a rhinoplasty. I had broken my nose four times playing baseball so the bones were kind of spread and wide, but I did not have any breathing issues. So yeah, I was a little bit insecure about my nose and so I changed that because I had the means to do it. Now she looks amazing and I think if she went through a similar process with her family and her doctor to make sure that she was doing it for the right reasons, then no, I don't have a problem with this, but those discussions have to be had with the doctor and the patient and the parents. And this mother and daughter decided to get plastic surgery together. 19 year old Bryson broke her nose playing softball. It's broken, so I want her to be able to breathe. Mom Pamela wanted fuller breasts. After breastfeeding three children, I just can't get the lift. They both want to trim down in some other areas as well. So the pair decided to take action. Am I okay with the teen having lipo at 19 years old? I mean, look, if it's okay for the adult, then why shouldn't it be okay for the teen if and only if? Have they maximized their lifestyle and meal plan? Has she seen a mental health specialist, the adult and the child? Are they in a good place mentally to understand that what they're doing and what the repercussions of what they might go through are realistic and not going to be a problem in the future and become a quote, plastic surgery addiction? We're having mother-daughter plastic surgery. Bryson and Pamela visited a plastic surgeon in San Antonio. We're gonna get this here so she can get rid of this. The doctor starts by marking Pamela's tummy for lipo. Right there. Right there. Okay. Then he does the same for her daughter. He also marks her nose. Then they discuss Pamela's breast implants. Can I get mine done, Mom? Absolutely not. So that exchange at the end there, absolutely not. I, I don't know, she's 19 years old. Like, why would the mom say no? If she's okay with her having lipo, why is she not okay with her having implants? I think that in lies part of the discussion here is the conversation between the parents and the child have to be consistent and they have to make sense. I don't think it's a one size fits all discussion about the age thing. I really think it boils down to ethics and reasoning and having the right conversations. Mom's up first in the OR. Her husband and daughter watch nearby. When Pamela is done, she's wheeled into recovery as Bryson goes up next. The doctor works on her nose. Then after some lipo and ab sculpting, mother and daughter head home. About a month later, they're out getting wardrobe upgrades. I love it. The pair are pleased with the outcome. That's nice. We had a mommy daughter makeover and we look and feel great. Okay, the reason my jaw dropped in the middle of that is I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it looked to me like they were on social media live during that surgery, which 
That's pretty crazy. Again, at the end of the day, this is a discussion that has to be had between the parents and the kid. I am fully support, obviously, because this is what I do for a living, that if people are doing it for the right reasons and it makes sense for them and it's safe to do it, then it's okay to move forward. But Randini Valencia wanted a change before she started college. I don't feel confident. The California teen wished to change her breast cup size. For years, Randini says she's been asking her mom, Monica, for breast implants. Mom finally relented. Now listen, we all know with social media today, the pressures to look a certain way have never been more intense. That is why I require all of my patients now to see a mental health specialist who I have in-house in my practice to talk to all of my patients, whether it's cosmetic or reconstructive surgery, to make sure that they're in the right mental place for why they're doing things. Hi. Plastic surgeon Dr. Burr Von Marr met with the teen and her mom to discuss her options. As long as she understands everything and everything is explained to her, it's totally safe. I prefer them to be 18 years old or older. So this young lady's age is the youngest I've ever done a breast augmentation, and that's 19. And that was only one patient. Of course, the limitations to this procedure are, we want a woman whose breasts are at full maturity before we decide to do anything. So that is one limitation. If their breasts aren't fully mature, then clearly we're not doing it. Am I doing a breast augmentation in a girl who's 14? Hell no, there's no way that's happening. When Logan Hanna was 12, he didn't like his ears. He was picked on at school and called cruel names. I get bullied a lot. So Logan and his parents visited a Dallas plastic surgeon who specialized in autoplasty. It's a procedure that pins back the ears. This is a very common scenario where we see young kids who need an otoplasty or ear pinning because they have very prominent ears and they are being bullied. Now for young kids, their ears mature fully at a very young age. So this procedure can be done as young as in a five-year-old if necessary. After a hug from his parents, Logan is ready to go. It takes two hours under general anesthesia. A week later, the doctor removes the bandages. Here's the before and the after. I look good. Yeah, see that kid looks amazing. It is night and day between the before and the after. And so I'm really happy for him because I know that made a huge impact on his life. I love that operation. It's very creative. It's life changing for the patient. So if you're interested in that procedure, definitely come see me. I would love to help you out. All right, my friends, that closes out a really controversial video. Obviously, I can't hit all of the questions that people might have surrounding this topic of plastic surgery and teenagers or young people, but I'm happy to answer your questions if you leave any, but for now, Dr. Ricky, out.